in a predicament in which I don't think any of us ever anticipated, ever thought would be the case for the Week 18 matchup between the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Cleveland Browns at Heinz Field. The Steelers are 8-8, eight and eight and they have a chance to make the playoffs. But they're going to need some help. They are, as always. As always. But never in my wildest dreams would I have thought that this Steelers team this year would be in this predicament. They honestly have no business being in this predicament. They don't. And honestly, if they do make the playoffs, you could say we already know what's going to happen. We said that last year, and, uh, well, look what happened. Right. And there's not much change, honestly. But, I mean, I mean, but from a 2-6 and six team at our bye week, to, now, be, to be an 8-8 eight and eight at this point, you've gone this far. You fought this hard. Why stop now? Why stop now, man? This is the biggest game of the season. We need to win. We need the Dolphins to lose to the Jets. And we need the Patriots to lose to the Bills. Not incredibly out of the realm of possibility. It's not. Some of it's a little concerning. You could say Belichick and the the Patriots might want to spoil the Bills' number one seed chances. It's kind of hard to trust the Jets, especially with Mike White, that quarterback. But greater things have happened. I mean, we're no stranger to this predicament. I mean, let's remember 2015 when we had to beat the Cleveland Browns. And we had to depend on the Buffalo Bills to beat the Jets. And that indeed happened. That was one wild ride. And, and this week is going to be one crazy day. Yeah. Sunday's yeah, gonna Sunday's gonna be one wild ride for Steel Nation, man. It really is. We got the Cleveland Browns. This is this is matchup number two of the year. They beat us before on Thursday night. As we know, Mitch was the quarterback that time because that was before Kenny even came in. And for the Browns, Jacoby Brissett was the quarterback. Now is their apparent answer. At quarterback, the man that they traded the whole house for, they gave two hundred and thirty million dollars, fully guaranteed for Deshaun Watson. Deshaun Watson is some interesting topic, and as Steelers fans, we probably don't have room to say much. Let's be honest, knowing the history, Watson man has been a he's been a huge drop off. Now a man that was one of the best quarterbacks in the league of his time when he was with the Houston Texans. A man that was looking to take over the entire league. He was a future of the Texans. And whatever happened, happened. Well, Houston, I mean, they didn't help him out. No, they didn't. They, they, we all know the whole story with Bill O'Brien, him trading his top target for scraps. and Not even know, a first-round pick. Right, and now we know what the situation Watson's been dealing with for the last two years. The Browns pretty much sold their soul and traded everything for him. And he's he's been playing the second half of the season and... He honestly hasn't looked great. He hasn't looked. It might be rust. It might be inexperience. It might be uh, no chemistry for the team. It might still be getting used to the to the organization and how they do things over there. But Watson has not looked good, man. No. He has not looked good. He has best game last week. Three touchdowns, but still not, not a crazy performance. But he got the job done. That's all you can ask for at this point in the season for the Browns, I suppose. Yeah. But, of course, the Browns are going to want to spoil our party. They're going to want to end our season. And give Mike Thomas first losing season because that is still a, a big possibility. Yeah. And that would be absolutely sick to have the Browns give Mike Thomas his first losing season. It's bad enough they beat us in the playoffs years back. Yeah, it's not the first time that the Browns ended their season in a miserable fashion. Right. So you're going to want to bet that Kevin Stefanski is going to want to do it again. Yep. Even though he wasn't even the coach that game. You're right, he wasn't. He wasn't. He wasn't. He wasn't. Because he, he had COVID. Nonetheless, man, the Browns, you know, they're having a, a very interesting year. They have to deal with backup quarterback. They're really trusting Nick Chubb. Nick Chubb is, is, is a phenomenal running back. We know that. He's always going to be a top rusher as long as he's uh, in the NFL. He's just incredible. He's going to be a tough challenge. And stopping the run last week was non-existent for J.K. and them. Yeah. So he's going to be a tough task. He always is. He's always done well against us, to be honest with you. Yeah, he did well in the Week 3 matchup. He did. So he, he's going to be a, a, a real... Tough task to, not, to slow not, down. Obviously, not just him. You know, Kareem Hunt at the same time. Right. Chubb and Hunt for years they've complimented each other tremendously. But I don't want to. I don't want to forget the passing attack. You know, Amari Cooper, eleven hundred yards, nine touchdowns on year. He's really having a, a great year since being traded from yeah. Dallas. Donovan Peoples Jones, you know, as the number two, and then I believe it's his third year in the league with the yeah. Browns. He stepped up big time. Almost eight hundred yards this year. Pretty telling, honestly. So, the Browns have offensive pieces, and they got an offensive mastermind and head coach. So, 
the defense has to step up in this one big time, man. This is in Heinz Field. This is going to be our last home game of the season. The energy is going to be high. Steel Nation is going to be rocking. You already know that. Yeah. The team has to bring that same energy, man. They are on a good streak right now. They have some momentum on their side. You got to like their playoff chances, man. They have to bring that momentum. They have to bring some energy. They got to bring Steeler football to the table this Sunday. Yeah. They have to. The defense has the ball, man. Watts got to get to to, to Watts. And the entire front seven's got to get some push. They have to. The pass rush has to eat in this one. They got to get to Watts and force mistakes. They got to stop the run and get to Watts. And it's yeah. a lot easier said than done, but defense has to play. They need to step it up in this one. This is big. This is the biggest game for the defense. I mean, this, this is literally your season on the line yep. right here. You got to go out there and freaking play lights out. And obviously the offense, man, you know. Same thing could be said for the offense. You got to go out there and play lights out. Your season is on the line. Like, whatever you guys have the best on the table, you need to deliver. Throw your best plays, throw your best efforts, throw your best everything out there this Sunday. I don't want to say throw all your eggs in one basket, but you got to really just put all your best efforts on the table for this one. You got to go out there, the offense, man, keep feeding the rock, keep feeding Najee, keep feeding Warren. They're coming off two spectacular straight games. Yep. They've been great the entire second half of the season, but the last two weeks especially. Like, just keep feeding that. Kenny's coming off back-to-back game-winning drives. Momentum's on our side for the offense. They just have to close when they need to. Yeah, they do. They and really the Browns' do. defense is <laughs> – they've been mediocre it's all year. It's Miles Garrett, and that's about it. 15 sacks for Miles Garrett, and there's not much else. Now, Javion Clowney, he he hasn't really been the guy that he once was back when he was with Houston. No. I, I know mean, they traded for Deion Jones, but I, I've hardly heard his name. No, I mean – Their secondary is fucking trash. I know Browns fans still don't like their defensive coordinator. I, don't, I, I mean, they're, they're – their defense is still very iffy. So with that being said, offense, play all out. Yep. Go out there, play some good football. Absolutely, man. This is the biggest game of the year. You got to go all out for this one, man. And you got to just pray at that point. I don't know when exactly because this is being recorded before any time slots for any games are being told for Sunday football. Yeah. But win this game and hope for a prayer at that point. We're living on a prayer, really. Yeah. Otherwise, this could be the last game of the season for the Steelers, win or loss. It could be, uh, but and on a strong note. Yeah, it's been a it's been a crazy season. It has been. It's been one we anticipated to be a bumpy ride, to be something different, something that a lot of us aren't really used to. But like Rob said at the start, man, why stop now? Why you made stop it this your far. efforts now? You made it this far. You stepped up big time after the bye week. I believe you're what seven and two since the bye week. Yeah. Why stop now? And you're going up against a team that once ended your season in the postseason, embarrassed you in your own stadium not too long ago. And you know for a fact they're going to want to do it again. But Deshaun Watson, that quarterback this time. Yep. Try not to make that happen. So at the end of the day, man, throw in your best efforts and let's just let's see the best deal team we can see, man. After all the torture and all the embarrassing losses that we handed the Browns for how many years, you know that with the chance to give Mike Tomlin his first losing season – the Browns are going to absolutely try to make that happen. Absolutely, man. So, now, there is no way in hell anybody should be underestimating the Cleveland Browns in this No, one. Not, one, not one bit. You know, we, we say put your best efforts out there, but we can still anticipate some stressful Steelers football. We can still yeah. anticipate the offense to not finish drives. We can anticipate the defense to be mediocre or even below that, honestly, because that's how the Steelers roll, man. It wouldn't be a Steelers Sunday. It wouldn't be... It wouldn't be the Steelers trying to make the playoffs without us damn near dying. <laughs> Let's be honest. Yeah. It wouldn't be a Steelers Sunday without us dying. But now you throw in the possibility of the playoffs in the postseason with Kenny's first year. My God, get 911 on speed dial. Get the Iron City on ice. We should not be in this position, honestly. We but should not be. And here, that, here that, we are. That, we shouldn't be, and that could be said about the heart of this team, but that could also be said about the – the underwhelming performance of the entire conference. Either way you look at it, man, to be in this position, it's something. And it's something great for Kenny Pickett and the young guys. That That's uh, that's confidence right there. Yeah. And that's going to speak volumes heading into the new era. So we got to get a dub, man, and we got to hope for a pair. At the end of the day, man, I just want to win. Yeah. Get a win, end the season strong. 
and trying to make the postseason, man. A lot of teams in the second half of the season have fallen off. Tennessee fell off. Miami fell off. The Jets fell off. In fact, those two have five straight losses. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, we were taking advantage of some teams really underwhelming. And now in the second half, like, again, why stop now? Finish strong, guys. So, take, try to take advantage, man. Take advantage, man. Stop Chubb. Get to Watson. Keep feeding the rock. Pick it. Be smart out there. And let's let's get it done. And maybe, maybe with some luck, we might make the playoffs. Last year was something different. Last year was absolute bonkers with that last game. And you know what? We made the playoffs. This year's actually, it's going to be something similar. Just finish strong. That's all we ask for. Otherwise, let's know your guys' thoughts down below. Do you think the Steelers make the playoffs? How do you think the game's going to go? Does Kenny Pickett pull off another game-winning drive? We shall see. It's going to be a fun matchup. It's going to be a fun weekend. It's going to be a fun Sunday. All around the NFL, but especially for our beloved Pittsburgh Steelers. It's going to be one rocky ride, and I'm going to be here for it. Will we make the postseason? Will we get the win? We'll have to find out on Sunday. A like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you later. Peace!